My name is Nick Thomas. I'm a consultant neurosurgeon and I work within a group of neurosurgeons called London Neurosurgery Partnership at the Harley Street Clinic. Nick, can you tell us what pituitary tumours are, please? A pituitary tumour is a tumour that is within the pituitary gland and the overwhelming likelihood is that this is going to be a benign non-cancerous tumour. There are many presentations of a tumour of this sort. It may be as a result of hormones that are secreted by the tumour or it may be as a result of the mass effect of that tumour and the eloquent structures that are close to the pituitary tumour include the nerves to the eyes. So loss of visual fields and impairment of the clarity uh, of one's vision may also be presenting features. Thank you. What happens during pituitary surgery? If an operation is indicated, and that is after careful review of the patient's condition by both surgeons and physicians, then an operation would be performed through the nose under general anaesthetic using scopes. So this is a minimal access procedure uh, that tries to limit the amount of tissue damage and the aim is to remove the tumour in its entirety while leaving the normal pituitary gland intact. What's the aftercare and ongoing treatment following surgery? Because the operation is done uh, in a minimal access way, most patients don't actually appreciate an awful lot of pain and discomfort following the procedure. In terms of post-operative care, many of the patients won't appreciate an awful lot of pain and discomfort uh, because of the minimal access nature of the procedure. Uh, it's important that we look out for potential post-operative complications in terms of worsening symptoms, particularly those that relate to vision, and this is uncommon. And also uh, whether there is a leak of the brain fluid, which can occur through a very fine membrane that divides that brain fluid from where the pituitary tumour is being removed. And the uh, input is not only from the surgeons, but also from the endocrinologists to manage any problems with the hormones postoperatively.